During almost these three years of Wonder Wardrobe existence, we've discussed so many rules that can help us to create a more personal and unique wardrobe. So today I thought it would be fun to discuss some rules that can be broken. I break classic rules all the time, so here are some of my favorites. One of the rules that I like to break and I actually don't follow at all is that in order to look modern and stylish, you should follow trends. So no more trends for me because one day I just realized that they are made for profit and they don't do anything good for my wardrobe, my personal style or my wallet. Instead, I've decided to follow my heart and choose clothes that make me feel beautiful, comfortable, confident and happier, of course. Another thing with trends is that they get so popular that when you wear them, you kind of willing to stand out, but at the end you end up being or looking like everyone else. You know what I mean? And for me, I don't know, I don't want to look like everyone else. I just want to look like myself and I want to be comfortable in looking like myself, you know? So I don't think there is anything original in wearing trends uh, on a regular basis. I actually have a video about trends, so if you would like to know a little bit of history of trends and how it all evolved to this point when we have like 80 trends per season, I would leave a link to this video in the description box. So one of the most popular questions was about matching black with navy and dark brown. So there is this classical rule that you can't match these colors together in one outfit. And I think it's a bit outdated, although there are kind of like exceptions. So for example, if you choose to have um, navy and black in one outfit, you definitely need to add another color that will break this darkness. For example, you can add another shade of blue, yeah, or you can add completely different color. Or maybe you can even add a couple of colors, one color for the shoes and one color for the bag. And about brown and black, I think I had an example of this. Um, in a capsule that I've made two years ago, black capsule, and I managed to uh, match brown and black there, but in this specific way. So, for example, I had a black skirt and I added dark brown boots, but on top I put medium dark brown sweater. And that's why it works well, because there is a connection uh, between um, dark brown, medium brown, and uh, it doesn't look so sad or uh, so dark. Another very classic rule that I like to break is that you should wear maximum three colors in one outfit. So <laughs> this, I think this rule I've learned in my childhood when I think I was like around 10, my mom uh, saw what I was wearing and she was like, okay, here's the thing. <laughs> you should wear only three colors in one outfit, no more. <laughs> so turn around and change. But now I break this rule all the time. I actually think that it's not about how many colors you have in your outfit, but how well those colors match with each other, how harmonious they look in one outfit. And of course, I already showed you so many examples where I used more than three colors in one outfit. And I think you've probably haven't even noticed. Yeah, because as I said, the most important thing is to know how to match colors in a right way, because you can even go wrong if you use two colors. Another fashion rule that we all know 
is that uh, you should match your belt with your bag and your shoes. So basically all these three elements should be of the same color. And of course, of course, this outdated already and we shouldn't do this. I mean, of course you can um, be matchy-matchy if you like it, but um, I don't think it's that interesting. So how you choose colors for your shoes, uh, bags and belts. These are all uh, elements of your outfit and each element plays some specific role. So we have, for example, main elements and we have complementary elements. So you need to decide what your shoes, belt or bag, what kind of elements are they? Are they main elements? Do we put all attention on them or they are complementary elements? And another question is that, do you want to have a color accent or you want them to kind of blend in uh, into outfit? And you can have color accent for your belt, for example, if you want to accentuate your waistline, or you can have a color accent on your shoes if you want to show off your long legs, for example, or stuff like this. So you always need to understand what kind of role your accessories play in your outfit. So another rule that I don't even understand completely is that you should look effortless. What does it even mean, look effortless? Because, come on, when we meet a person we, that style we admire, it's obviously that that person spent some time and effort on looking that good that it's not an accident that she had this beautiful blouse with this beautiful skirt and with this beautiful shoes and this beautiful bag and this jewelry. So she made a lot of effort in looking for those items, buying those items, putting, styling those items together in order to look that good. So I think not caring and getting it right is not the same as spending less time on looking right. I think of effortless look in terms of how easy it was to put that beautiful, amazing outfit together. Okay, now do we really have to wear only one pattern in an outfit? Of course, no, we can, we can go crazy and wear two patterns in an outfit. And I already made a video about this, how to match and mix different prints together. There are also rules about how to match only one pattern with a solid color. So check it out if you are interested in how to handle prints in your wardrobe. Is it okay to wear jewelry and zipper in different colors? I think nowadays this classical rule that you can't match different colors of metals in one outfit is already also outdated. I see people all the time matching different jewelry in their outfits and it doesn't look that bad or that um, scandalous. But with the zipper it's a bit different and I think it all depends on um, how visible the zipper is. For example, if your zipper is right here and it's uh, copper color, yeah? and you wear some big, massive silver earrings, then maybe it will kind of um, be a little bit disharmonious. But if you have some like small pendants, no one will ever notice that you mixed different colors of metals in the same outfit. So I think it all depends. Now it's your turn to tell me what fashion rules do you like breaking and why? Let's discuss it in the comments and learn from one another. I hope you liked this video and if you did, don't forget to press like, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel and also you can press the bell and you will get notifications every time I put out a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.